Hello everyone, um, I'm back today with a project that I just thought of. Um, we recently redecorated our bedroom and so I'm trying to find different um, <clears throat> paintings or something to put on the wall and I'm just not finding anything that I want. Um, I really like um, old antique looking bicycles. Um, and so I found these stencils. Um, I've already tore them out, but um, it was a stencil by Folk Art, and they had um, four different styles of um, stencils. Let me see if I can show them to you. And so I came up with the idea that I would put one of these stencils on each of the four canvases. Um, first off, I have a, um, 8x8 deep edge canvas, um, just got this at my local, um, craft store. So I have that, um, and these are the perfect size for these stencils. It came on a sheet of four, and, um, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but it came on a sheet of four, and I just tore them apart. Maybe you can see it on this. So we have this one. It's like a um, tricycle looking one. Um, we have a unicycle. We have a regular, looks like a banana seat bicycle, which I love because I had a banana seat bicycle as a little girl. And then just a regular, like everyday um, mountain bike looking bicycle. So I thought these would be cute to. Um, put onto a canvas. So um, what I'm going to do is cover all of the canvas. I have this, and I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll um, do it at the same time. I found this on clearance at Tuesday morning or Marshalls or something like that. It was $6.99, so I picked up a roll. It's like a um, same style, like a roll of foil. It's just tissue paper by Tim Holtz. Um, and this is just different text. So I have a sheet that I've already tore off from a previous project. As you can see, it's just thin like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cover the canvas um, and get that dry. And so we'll be back after I'm finished. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that I have cut down my piece of paper to about the size of my canvas with just a little overlap. Um, and I'm doing that so that I can still go over the edges if I want to. Um, I haven't decided yet. So what I've got here is some collage podge um, mat. This stuff is awesome. It's like you can use um, Mod Podge. Um, I had just picked this up. Um, it was a little bit cheaper that day, so the Clash Podge mat still gets the same effect as the um, Mod Podge mat. This one was just a little cheaper at the time. So I have that um, just put out onto a palette here, um, an old paintbrush that you don't care about because it's going to get all gluey and messy. Um, so what we'll do is just put down some glue on your canvas. Um, just paint brush it on there. This part's kind of the fun part because it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just make sure you cover the entire canvas. Um, so that's about okay. Maybe a little bit more over here in the corners. Make sure you get the edges really good so that your paper or whatever you're putting down on your canvas doesn't come up um, halfway through your project. That's always a little frustrating when that happens. Alright, so we're good there. And then just turn your um, paper, your um, tissue paper or whatever it is that you're putting on your canvas that day. Just put it flat. And I like to kind of get mine laid down flat before I put the top layer of the collage page on top of mine. So as you can see I have a little bit of overhang on mine that's fine I don't mind that 
Um, I'm going to decorate the sides of my canvas anyways. So now that that's glued down, um, then you go over the top with another layer of the collage page to seal it. And this is the one where you want to make sure that you get it down good. Um, you want to get out any air bubbles at this time so that your canvas dries flat. And if you get some creases in your paper, just um, try to work those out with your paintbrush. Um, again, this doesn't have to be perfect. That's um, one of the reasons why I was drawn to uh, a mixed media line of art because the imperfections sometimes turn out to be part of the best part of the piece that you're working on. So I got that down pretty well. I like the way it looks so I'm going to work on covering the edges and we will be back. Alright so um, now that we're back this is what uh, the canvas looks like I have mine covered. I just overlapped the sides a little bit. They're not all even, but I kind of like it that way. I'm still going to do some painting and stamping and stuff, so it'll be okay by the time we're done. Um, I still have to use the heat gun on mine, so I just thought I would show you guys um, kind of that process. If you're not familiar, it's really easy. Um, the glue is already starting to dry, and I don't know if you can see or not, um, but mine's not perfect either. Some of the lines that um, don't get worked all the way out from the tissue paper just kind of adds to the texture of the piece. So really don't worry about those. If you can't get them out, it's okay if it's not perfect. So there's one of mine. I'm just going to heat set mine so that it starts to dry. And then I will be back when all four of my canvases are covered and then we will get to the stenciling of the bicycles. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I have all four of my canvases covered um, in that tissue paper wrap that I showed you earlier. Um, I, did, I did them all exactly the same. They all have um, the sides covered, they've all been um, dried with my heat gun, so they are ready to go for the next step. Um, what I'm going to do for this next step is put these down like so, the stencils that I showed you earlier, and we're just going to stencil them on and see how they look. Um, so I'm thinking, I just got to decide which ones I want where. Um, Maybe do something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe that. Um, but what I'm going to do is just stencil them right in the middle. Um, dry those. And then we uh, will go on to the next step. So I'm going to get these other three canvases out, out of the way. Um, just so that I can focus on one canvas at a time. That way I can get it centered and looking how I want it to look. Um, good enough. Okay, so I just got my glue here in the middle. We're just going to um, keep that there in case I have any flyaways from the paper that might not have got laid down correctly. Um, but they're all pretty dry, doing good. So I just have some basic Liquitex acrylic black paint. Um, I'm just going to squirt some out into my tray and go from there. This color is Mars Black, but you can use any black acrylic paint that you have. Um, even the ones that are like the 59 or 89 cent ones that you can find at the craft store. That's just what I had on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so I'm just going to take my stencil brush here and work it into the stencil and we'll see how this turns out.
Okay, so I am done stenciling this bicycle. I'm hoping that there's no paint that bled under the stencil, but if so, we'll work with it. So just peel it up slowly. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to pause this. Um, uh, pause it, dry it. I'm going to go clean off my stencils. And um, by the time I come back, you will see the rest of the um, canvases that I have for each of the stencils. I'll go ahead and do those, and then I will be back. Okay, so as you can see... Um, I went ahead and finished all of the stencils on the set of four. So I'll take each one. This is kind of how I think I'm going to have it arranged on the wall. Um, I might add some borders while we're done. I'm going to wait until the paint fully dries. Um, but I'll do a close up of what each one looks like so you can see it. Um, I'm in love with every single one of these. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Um, so don't be afraid to use your imagination to go outside of the box. Um, I think this project is one of those that I don't think it could have turned out any um, any more perfect. Um, so this is all for now. Um, I might have some borders that I do around the edges. I'm not sure whether I'll hang it on the wall like this or whether I'll put them in a, a deep edge frame. Um, but for now, that's all I have. So I'm excited to see what you guys come up with this, with the supplies that you guys have around the house. Um, I will provide the links to the video um, in the descriptions below. Um, in the meantime, happy holidays, and I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. All right.